Hello, this is Andre, and uh, I'm in the garden of uh, Selwyn College. And uh, I just finished the third week of the Masters, and I wanted to do this video, even though it's um, a bit raining outside, I didn't want to start uh, slacking behind, uh, because uh, from my experience in the previous um, video series that I'm doing, if I start slacking behind, then I um, start actually not posting anymore, and I didn't want to happen. So, um, I'm going to say a few thoughts about what happens in the previous week, some things that I um, started to think about, and also I will mention what uh, I am going to spend my attention on in the next week. So, for the previous week, um, I mentioned that um, it seems to me that we, we, like all, everybody in the master starts to become an autopilot in the way that there are many things to do. The reality is that they are quite well defined in the sense that it's mostly learning and doing coursework, which is well defined. And um, it just becomes of a question of uh, the output that we can um, uh, sustain, uh, meaning that how much um, output can we uh, do in a week. So for the past previous week, I um, uh, spent most of my attention um, uh, going uh, to do the courseworks. I worked on uh, um, image processing to uh, learn about parallel computing and do um, the last coursework, which is about um, implementing, um, uh, actually programming on a GPU uh, with some parallel computing and OpenCL. It's, it's quite a nice um, thing to do uh, because it allows you to get much more speed for some type of operations, such as ma matrix multiplication. And uh, I also catched up uh, with um, a probabilistic machine learning and um, I spent about 15 hours actually trying to wrap my head uh, around the, the concept of Gaussian processes, um, which is very interesting if you actually wrap your head around, but it, 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 it continues to feel to me that it's quite a, it's a fishy idea in the sense that they mostly just manipulate the notation, the mathematical notation to get to something which is nice even though they assume an infinite dimensional thing and infinite dimension just doesn't exist in reality so it's um it's a fishy algorithm to me and uh, one thing which i started to notice is that uh, it's a problem at me so whatever the task at hand that i should be doing that i was starting i um was feeling inside me that uh, that is not the best use of my time right now in the sense that maybe I should start the other thing. So if I have two coursework and I'm starting the coursework one, my head was saying that, oh, maybe I should start the coursework two. But then if I started the coursework two, my head was saying, oh, maybe you should go to the coursework one. So clearly whatever I was starting, I wasn't, I didn't have the internal consent that that's the best thing to do right then. And then I said like, man, if any of this I'm doing, it's not a good thing. It's a problem with me. It's not a problem with the tasks. And the um, solution which I'm experimenting right now is, you know, just thinking two seconds, which one seems to be the most important um, at um, this time and pick that one and then just go and do it. And don't uh, think too much that you should do that or that because I noticed that um, it drains half of the energy from my body just thinking what I should be doing rather than actually doing things, which is bad. And I noticed this, um, I think on Tuesday, so somewhere in the middle of the week, and um, it clearly improved my output in the other half of the week because, you know, I was just doing rather than thinking what uh, to do. So I, I think that's um, a good realization. And in this past week, I, I averaged about like eight hours of actual learning in a day that um, doesn't count in the time to travel or breaks or things like that. So that's about 55 hours in a week, which like realistically speaking, it sounds good to me to do 55 hours. But if you think about it, it's not that much. Like, I mean, I get that, that it's one full week, but if you think about 50 hours, the number 50 doesn't sound to be that big. And comparing with what, like the content, which uh, I managed to learn in this 50 hours, um, it just, it, 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 it sounds 
like it's a lot, but the actual things that you can do in 50 hours, it's not that much. Like maybe I learned about, let's say five lessons in total and did, um, okay, I read about 50 pages from um, an image processing book and did half of the course, but it's not much. Like if you think that in a week or max, you can output that much, um, it, it, it sounds uh, little. And I think that the follow-up from this idea is that the secret to achieve much is compounding because uh, 50 hours this week doesn't sound much, but if you manage to output 50 hours every week for let's say 40 weeks in a year, um, that's about 2000 hours. And that sounds like it's something, but um, you need to do this every week. And uh, it's clearly not sustainable to do it every week. But the point is, I think compounding is what um, learning is all about, like trying to crunch as much information and thinking and trying to wrap your head around um, as fast as you can, but also the volume, as much volume as you can. Because if you have to learn something fast, like in a few days, it's not gonna happen because um, it takes much time. And the secret to learning big things is compounding from what I um, currently believe. Now for the next week, um, I think I will continue to be mostly on autopilot in the sense that the tasks that I have to do are pretty well defined. I have to um, finish the um, uh, image processing coursework, which will take about another 10 hours to do parallel computing. And then I will go for digital signal processing. And there I need to learn um, the concept of Fourier transform and the concept of um, pretty much splitting, composing any function as a sum of sinuses and cosinuses, um, which sounds uh, quite powerful. And I think I will spend about 10 hours trying to catch up with the lessons. And then I need to start doing the coursework. Both deadlines for the image processing and digital processing are on Wednesday. And I think I need to put about 30 hours um, into both of them until then. So that's about... Um, 10 hours a day if you put it I don't know how that is going to happen hopefully it's gonna be faster like <laughs> I hope to um, and then after I finish those two courseworks and submit them on Wednesday the next step for me would be to um, focus um, and start writing on the personal statement for the PhD because I uh, feel that I'm lacking behind with uh, the PhD applications um, in the sense that I am not putting enough time into them right now. And um, I want to spend about 10 hours um, doing the personal statement. I think that's about the next week. Um, I hope to output about 50, 55 hours and um, I hope to finish everything on time and start to be again on top of things because now I'm quite um, behind the lectures, but um, I hope that everything will be fine. Um, I hope um, that um, uh, things are going to uh, become more clear as I advance the material because now some of the concepts just seem, um, you know, new and weird. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing this nice garden and um, I hope to see you in the next one.